do you know how to exponentiate this matrix how to explicitly find e to the power lt for an arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix this happens to be possible not so for an arbitrary 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 or n by n matrix but in the case of a 2 dimensional matrix just 2 dimensional matrix arbitrary 2 by 2 matrices this turns out to be fairly easy and simple to do and let me uh, spend a few minutes digress and do this so we will look at some examples and then you get some practice doing this you see the difficulty is that if you took a matrix L equal to A B C D and you want to find L squared L cubed and so on this can be extremely tedious and the reason it becomes tedious is because this is shorthand for A times 1 0 0 1 plus B times 0 1 0 0 plus C times 0 0 1 0 plus D times this thing here is shorthand for that and these are the four basis matrices the natural basis for 2 by 2 matrices in the language of linear algebra that is the natural basis and this is what you mean by a matrix okay. however the problem arises sorry this should be a 0 here the problem arises because these matrices their commutation properties are not trivial. So if you take two of these matrices and ask what is the product and what is the product in the reverse order they are not necessarily equal to each other and you can see that this gets fairly complicated as you go along. So what one would like to do is to change the basis to a better basis where the mutual commutation properties between the basis vectors basis matrices this is a little simpler and these are the famous Pauli matrices. So you have of course the unit matrix which is 1 0 0 1 you have the first matrix sigma 1 equal to 0 1 1 0 sigma 2 equal to 0 minus i i 0 sigma 3 equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 these are called the Pauli matrices are you familiar with these matrices yes some of you are some of you are not never mind it is actually quite simple these matrices have very interesting properties they call the Pauli matrices and they are linearly independent of each other and it is an elementary statement to say that any arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix can be expanded uniquely as a linear combination not of just these 4 basis say matrices but of these 4 basis matrices. So you could write any arbitrary 2 by 2 matrix as a linear combination of i, sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 okay. that is a simple exercise I leave it to you to do that because start with this a, b, c, d and insist on writing it in this form. So write this thing as uh, the same matrix write it as alpha naught i plus alpha 1 sigma 1 plus alpha 2 sigma 2 plus alpha 3 sigma 3 and you see immediately that alpha naught alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are linear combinations of a b c d and you can solve for one set in terms of the other and vice versa uniquely. So this immediately shows that you could expand a matrix in this basis as well there is no restriction that the alphas have to be real or anything like that because as you see one of the basis matrices itself has got i out there. The advantage of this basis is that these matrices are Hermitian they are equal to their complex conjugate transposes that is not true here on the other hand these matrices have that symmetry property and it is also a simple exercise to show I am going to give this as a problem set look out all the work out all the properties of these okay. sigma i squared equal to the unit matrix the square of every one of these matrices is equal to the identity matrix moreover sigma i sigma j plus sigma j sigma i equal to 0 if i not equal to j the anti commute with each other 
and that is a very very powerful property for what we want to do because if you want to write e to the power lt you write e to the lt equal to e to the alpha naught i plus let me call it alpha i sigma i with a summation over this index i implied so it looks almost like a vector alpha dot sigma except you must remember that the components alpha alpha 1 2 3 need not be real numbers could be complex numbers in general and we have the task of finding this quantity here now what is this equal to well you know e to the power a plus b is not equal to e to the a times e to the b in general where a and b are matrices and the reason is e to the power a would have only powers of a and e to the b would have only powers of b so if I write e to the power a multiplied by e to the power b all the a's are on the left and all the b's are on the right but that is not true when I have a plus b in the numerator so you can see that e to the a e to the b is i plus a plus etc i plus b plus etc and if I work this out and write it out all the a's stay on the left and all the b's stay on the right but if I took e to the a plus b equal to i plus a plus b plus 1 over 2 factorial and what is the next term what is the quadratic term it is a squared plus a b plus b a plus b squared so you see there are terms which have b on the left and a on the right and as you go to higher powers more and more of this will happen there would be combinations like b a b a b a and so on and that is not allowed for here so this is not equal to this quantity is not equal to that for matrices or for operators in general on the other hand if I look at this quantity here and this is alpha 1 sigma 1 plus alpha 2 sigma 2 plus alpha 3 sigma 3 and I expand it out this quantity commutes with everything so you can actually move it out you can write this as e to the alpha naught i multiplied by this thing here but when you expand the exponential here you get terms like sigma 1 squared which is the identity sigma 2 squared the identity sigma 3 squared is the identity then you get combinations like alpha 1 alpha 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 plus sigma 2 sigma 1 but that is 0 because of this anti commutation property and therefore you can actually find the exponential when you take any two of these in opposite orders it anti commutes they vanishes completely vanishes so I leave the rest of this as an exercise to you to actually work out what e to the power alpha alpha naught i plus these guys is you can write a very compact formula for it in terms of the alphas completely what would you expect what would you expect is the final answer after you go through this entire rigmarole what would you expect nothing very complicated because this is also a 2 by 2 matrix and we just said that every 2 by 2 matrix could be uniquely expanded in terms of the identity matrix and the Pauli matrices so the final answer has to be something of the form some beta naught i plus beta 1 sigma 1 it has to be of that form and there is no option nothing but that all that happens is the betas are complicated functions of the alphas in this case not very complicated so I leave you to work this out and that will tell you how to exponentiate such a matrix there is a very simple formula which once you remember the formula or work it out you can apply in every given case and this is the answer here.